We're going to do a short tutorial now related to capturing the screen in uh, Windows Vista. You may have uh, seen this uh, key, the print screen key, PRT SCR, and sometimes maybe clicked it and saw that nothing happened. But actually, there is something happening. When you click that, uh, it is uh, taking a capture of the complete screen and placing it in the clipboard for use uh, in opening up, pasting into any uh, image editing software. So that's what we're going to do now. What we want to do, what uh, I'm going to do is capture uh, my website homepage. I'm just going to make it a little bit uh, smaller instead of filling my whole resolution of my monitor. And so if I take that area there, and then right now I'm pressing on that print screen key and even though nothing's showing I've taken a capture of the whole screen area here now and I'll just minimize that and what I'm going to deal with is working on that file in Photoshop so I'll open up Photoshop the first thing that needs to be done is creating a new document and uh, so I'll do that here now I'm using a double screen monitors here which show up uh, wider than I need so I'll go to the uh, 1900 by 1200 which is my left monitor and then uh, how I what I need to do now is paste that uh, clipboard capture in there and I can do that under edit We see that paste is available or control V is what I generally use as a shortcut and so there we have the uh, capture of the whole screen area. Now I go over and uh, select my selection, my square selection, because I just want to grab the area right in there. I don't want the whole screen for using on the web. And then uh, to crop that, I go up to Image in the menu and uh, select Crop. And then click one more time. That gets rid of the marching ants. Now when I go to Full actual pictures we see that that's pretty big and so that's not suitable for web use um, I'm going to make that a smaller size and up in the menu under image go to image size and we see that it is 1182 pixels wide so after selecting all the uh, check boxes down here which is, are related to resampling you can leave it on regular bicubic if you like I prefer bicubic sharper then I'm going to knock the width of this down to uh, 750 pixels. That gives me a 750 by 532 screenshot. And resize it down. Make sure this is actual pixels. Yeah, so that's the final image there. Now one little step that I do with a lot of my uh, resizing is just go up and add a tad of blur. It just takes margins off the file size. Gaussian blur and it's just a 0.2. You'll see it's, it's virtually nothing and it's not noticeable in the image but it will take off uh, a few kilobytes so I just do that out of course and then the step that we want to do is save this uh, screen capture so I'm going to go over to file and save for web and devices and we see here that uh, that's 100.3k for that image and at 60 uh, at uh, 60 uh, quality. Um, a lot use 80 for a high resolution, higher resolution that knocks it up to 160k almost. I find 60 does uh, fine for what I'm after. So we'll save that and I'm going to call this RSW screenshot.